Why, why do you, uh, you mentioned the, in passing the problem in our university campuses. I, I don't remember a, a time when there was so much uh, uh, hostility to Israel. Um, and it came immediately after the, uh, uh, the atrocities by, by Hamas. What do, you, what do you think is going on? Tell us about the young people. What's, what's the Look, I think it's, I, 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 this is an area of disagreement for us. I think it's fundamentally incorrect to say that there hasn't been. I just think it's been on the down low. Um, I think that we've had, and these boards of trustees and these presidents of especially our most elite universities have been hiring faculty members for decades that are anti-Semitic. And they've granted them 10 years. And under the, the license of academic freedom, they permitted them to teach our children things that are fundamentally incorrect and morally infirm. And it's not just now. Look, I read a story recently when I was doing research on this from, I think it was the Washington Post, in 1940, reporting that the Georgetown University students voted Hitler one of the five great leaders of the world. In 1940. It wasn't like he hadn't shown his cards already. I mean, we've had this problem on university campuses for a long time. And, and the fault for this is at the feet not only of the university presidents, but their trustees, who go there and think that somehow being a trustee is like a, a prize for the largest donation, which it typically is. But they have a greater responsibility. And they have the responsibility of hiring faculty, approving that faculty, and giving tenure to that faculty. And you see the things that are going on at college campuses in this country. Look, I had a son, our oldest son went to Princeton. And I was appalled at the time at some of the things that he was being taught. I used to teach there. I was appalled too. Right. I mean, it's, 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 it's really fundamentally a problem that needs to be dealt with. In my view, the president of Harvard should be fired today. The president of Penn should be fired today. Without hesitation, the president of Cornell should be fired today. That's it. I mean, this is not about freedom of speech. This is about rank and competence. It, when you have students, Jewish students at Cornell, who are afraid to go to the dining hall, and you somehow cloak that in free speech, it's outrageous. And so, you know, I think that an American president has to speak out against that. Now, you know, I have some of my opponents talking about how they want to pull funding from this and pull funding from that. Look, I'll finally consider all that. But they're missing the point. We have not had a president in my lifetime who has spoken out against this. It, it, other than using the bully pulpit of the presidency, what, what, what practically could the president do to fight anti-Semitism and to, and to reform our universities? Well, I, look, I, I, like I said, I'd be willing to consider different funding um, stoppages, because quite frankly, the universities you just spoke about and others, whether you're talking about uh, the Ivy League schools, Georgetown here in town, Stanford, um, you know, they have more money than they know what to do with. These endowments are obscene. And yet they continue to feed like pigs at the federal trough for more and more money, put our students in greater and greater debt. And you know, our youngest daughter goes to the University of Notre Dame. This year, the cost for her to go to that place is $80,400. Now, in the abstract, you might say, all right, well, that's a lot of money. But our young, our older daughter graduated from there not even five years ago. And her cost then was $62,000. Now, from $62,000 to eighty dollars in less than five years. So I think funding could be something you could deal with, too. But I wouldn't minimize the bully pulpit. I think a president of the United States who comes out and calls these universities to task for what they're not doing um, will have an enormous impact on what happens. And I'm glad to see that some of the donors are now taking a stand and saying that unless you change your policies, we're not giving you any more money. But guess what? They've got tens of billions already. So that may be closing the barn door after all the horses have already